Pavel, great to see you. Thanks for the invitation here to your five axis fair. Um, something TGS are doing this week. I mean, what are attendees going to see? What are, you at, what, what are you showing? First of all, we will see you first time in here. Yeah? So that's, for me, the biggest adventure. And second, you will see our, our uh, industry, because TGS is kind of representing what is in the industry happening, generally. So it will be also your perspective, how you will see the Czech Republic, how you will see our current stage of, of our business uh, environment and industry environment. Yeah, because it, it's fair to say, it's, us being here talking about five axis technology isn't really what we've come for. It's about exploring the economy. It's about exploring, you know, what is being described as kind of one of the powerhouses of Europe, really, isn't it, the Czech Republic at the moment? Uh, we, we, we use the five axis because five axis mean complexity. Mm. And uh, current uh, industry, needs the parts are becoming more and more complicated and also the task from the uh, from the business side is more and more complicated and uh, we have to in industry we have to produce products which are complicated are complex okay? we need a lot of other professions than we got used to before not only machine tools but we have also a lot of software a lot of other technology a lot of plastic a lot of carbon fibers that's uh, what that's what we are discussing right now and, and we'll see a bit of that as we tour, tour around. Um, but my point about the, the industry here, when it comes to, to Europe, uh, you're quite big in the automotive sector, or were, but it's struggling. <laughs> so you, you must be looking at higher value industries now. Is that, is that what your solutions are going into? Automotive is a big issue in, uh, in the East generally. Uh, but what was happening, uh, maybe I will come back 30 years ago, uh, when the Czech Republic enters the, the Western society. And uh, we came with some, uh, some production ability. And the automotive was, was quick enough, they, they took the advantage to, to place the production in the East. So we have been living 20, 30 years, we've been supplying the Western society with the parts. Yeah. And finally, this, is, this, this situation ends. And automotive, of course, is the, uh, is the biggest part of this production is, is coming to automotive. And uh, now is the time when, uh, uh, when for 30 years we have been supplying capacity. Yeah. And uh, nobody needed from us invention and technology and, uh, and some creativity. Mm. So finally now the time is coming. That's good, and, and that's what we're going to see. I mean, Pavel, let's just look in, I mean, to start with here, something like you, 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 you're putting together here. Now, this takes a lot of work, a lot of skills. Um, what would this be for, and, 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 and how would you go about, you know, winning some work like this? You know, it, it means a lot of adventure first, because uh, we are, TGS is a special climate. We are developing, developing technology, developing things, and supplying to production companies and on the production side there is no time to make mistake yeah. so now we can afford it here yeah. we can take an idea we can make it then see that the idea wasn't probably that <laughs> that perfect <laughs> so we can we have to come back and rebuild it and do it again and and this is you know you founded this company 30 years ago congratulations I mean a, a fabulous event here this week that's showing off about 50 partners that you've got here and um, let, let's move this way I mean something like I see there where where would that be going that cell that we look at it's some you know obviously some high value manufacturing and an and, and unmanned running yeah it's uh, the, the reason why we are producing such an equipment and such a machine is always when when we go to to, to the production field and we are discussing and we find some possibility that we can automize something or bring it to not, not only the automation but uh, also to bring it to better technical level for example yeah, avoid mistakes or uh, increase the performance of the parts yeah. because here we can see uh, you're making your own cutting tools as well now in a lot of places we go a machine tool supplier will sell a machine and they'll sell someone else's cutting tool and put that together. But here, it looks like you're creating yeah. the whole package. That's a very successful model as well. But we do, it, uh, we do our own cutting tools, not because we want to fight with Chinese, 
but we do it because if we are creating technology and at the at the final stage we need the geometry which reflects all these steps which we prepared before we plan it somehow and then we find out we need a little bit forces this way we need a little bit that a little bit surface like that and that's exactly the the job for geometry the final geometry of the tool yeah i mean it, it's incredible to see it all all as a com as a complete package Let, let's move this way because you're you're also um not just into metal cutting there's <laughs> also 3d printing which we'll uh we'll be able to see here this is something you embarked on um, not so long ago, I believe, yeah, uh, no. and, and that's led and fed by demand. People wanted uh, 3D printed solutions and 3D printed uh, you parts. Are, you are touching the ticklish point of machinist because we are coming, all of us, we are coming from metal. Yeah. Yeah. And now we see big invasion of light materials. Yeah. Uh, I, to be honest, I didn't like it before, mm. but uh, we have to respect because there is a lot of advantages. <laughs> so, yeah. And I mean, something like this then, this is something that uh, wow, just look in there. So what would you be printing in, in, in something like this? What, what would you be involved in? We are developing the technology, that's a first. And also beside that, we have to develop the product, which is uh, for printing a good one, and which is where we can find the advantages with this technology. because. Uh, basically, we are printing product which already exists. It means there is already some competitive technology which uh, which creates the, the, the part. So we are bringing new technology and we are trying to replace it. And uh, uh, the most, till now, the most developed uh, product is a, is a molding. Uh, every time when you need a mold, uh, doesn't matter if it's for cardboard fiber or some pressing mold, you can replace it, or potentially some of them, you can replace it with a plastic because uh, we are printing with temperature of about 400 degrees. So we are very close to the aluminium uh, okay. condition. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we can use it also in the, in the temperature between 100, some of the materials, 200 degrees. Yeah. Now, but something like this though, just to give, give me a sense of understanding, this is, uh, you, you are making something here for yourselves to offer a 3D printing service or you are creating 3D, uh, a 3D printing cell to provide somebody to, to make that service or yeah. both? Uh, we, don't, we don't spend that much time to create a machine cell because uh, it's, it's bought it in, uh, uh, from, from, uh, from seed the extruder and they are quite highly developed for extrusion and it's in this case it's on the robot but you can have it on, on any other equipment you can have it on machine uh, important is to develop the functionality and uh, also the limits so now we for almost more than one and a half year we are checking where are the limits yeah uh, and this is what you can do here when yeah, you can't that's what do we it do. in the production uh, environment. Yeah, that's you will see. You will see a lot of mess. What we did, we already printed, and we didn't succeed. But that's how that's how you advance, isn't it? By pushing things to the limit, being able to experiment, being able to challenge yourself. Which doing that in a machine shop is 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 tough. Because uh, it costs money, but this is the only way. And uh, and uh, also in the when it, the technology is already in production, it have to produce certain job. Yeah. And if always when you jump a little bit on the side, you got the troubles and you don't know that you, you damage whatever. Yeah. So we are delegated to, to finding the limits. Now I want to just, before we end this, find, get a little bit more out about the company because you are a machine tool supplier. You can come to TGS and buy an Abamie, a, a Kitamura machine, um, potentially out of a box, I guess, if you wanted to, but also you're a business that will uh, turn that into a, a fully functioning um, cell for someone to make a specific part. But you'll also make parts for people as well in your production area. So you're kind of from an A to Z, is that? Uh, we don't want to be competitive to ourselves. You know? no. But what we are making here is a, is a metal cutting fitness. Yeah. Oh, and it's on our machine. Every time when we, uh, oh. we are testing technology, we go first and we test it at home. We make the mistake here. We, we 
we test the, the technology itself, and then we move it on the customer side. Yeah, that's, a, that's the first reason. Yeah. Second is that uh, we are prototyping. A lot of the production which is on the market and can be produced uh, need, to be, need to be tested first, if this is the right way. And uh, production, uh, usually production companies, they are not used to it such a, uh, such a, uh, such a research kind of uh, development of, of production. It's like a research development center, isn't it? Helping yeah. Czech manufacturing. Now, just tell us finally, what are the constraints that you find in the Czech Republic? What are the problems that you, you believe you have as a nation that maybe don't help you in manufacturing, but maybe you guys are trying to overcome? Oh, you, you, you mentioned the transition before, and uh, uh, you came in the time when uh, TGS was delivering machine. For 30 years, it was a normal business, delivering machines, a little bit of technology. But the, currently, the market doesn't need this anymore. Yeah. Uh, the market cannot afford it. There is a lot of capacity, and the capacity is looking for new products. And uh, they need flexibility, you know? and in the production side, uh, the the important parameter was the price. There was no possibility to invest into the flexibility and have some potential for other technologies. Yeah. So now we are in the transition time. We are develop, de delivering and developing uh, procedures, working procedures, which the companies are missing. They have maybe part of it. They have only machine. They have only whatever. And we are trying to set up the whole chain of production and deliver it to the parts which, uh, which can afford it. And going forward, the Czech Republic as a manufacturing nation, huh. what, what's the future and how do you get to where you want to be? Because there are depressed markets around Europe at the moment. Um, I mentioned at the start that you're a bit of a powerhouse. You know, a lot of your GDP is manufacturing. So how do you advance to that sort of becoming, you know, a leader in, in, in what you do here as a country? So from my perspective, we, all of us, it doesn't matter if it's Eastern Europe, but also Western, we are suffering because we are losing the volume production and the batches will be lower. And this is exactly the opportunity for all the producers yeah, to get oriented and to get a new job because there were no time for such a small batches in the high time of production to take care of special product or customization and, uh, and maybe more sophisticated because everyone was living from the volume. But Pavel, if I'm looking at uh, the Czech Republic now, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to establish for our viewers why, let's say if I was working in a, in, a, in a different economy, a different country, why would I pick up my machining or my machine shop and, and bring it here, you know, to make my parts here? Yeah. What, 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 why would I do that? What would be the answer to that? Uh, the previous reason was the price, and it's over. Yeah. Uh, but the same transition like Eastern Europe is doing, the same is happening in the Western Europe uh, because uh, all the supply chain are not collapsing probably, but reorganizing. And if we, if we see what is happening starting with COVID, then with Green Deal, then with war, with uh, a lot of things, and automotive, of course, uh, everything leads to changes which in the supply chain will be... Will be, will be uh, will be happened in the future and the same will happen in uh, in Western Europe right when you have a product you have a market position and you know you need to fill up the uh, the gap on the market uh, in the previous way was that you ask some supplier and the supplier is supplying what they can now is the situation different you don't have that much time if there is a gap you have to fill it up so if you have a product you have to surround the product with technology, with knowledge, with capacity, and make it as fast as possible. Yeah. So, and Czech Republic is exactly the place where this can happen. Yeah. Um, you talked as well about defense sector. That's quite crucial to everybody now with most uh, European countries up in their spend on defense. Um, you guys are quite involved in that as well, aren't you? The, the defense, country. yeah. No, Yes, of course, we are involved, but the industry itself uh, didn't talk to the, to the defense sector before. Uh, there is no communication channels. We don't understand each other. They cannot uh, ask, ask machine tool company to provide something for, for, for them. Because uh, uh, it's a completely different way. They, 
we are ready to work with drawings and the defense sector doesn't have any drawings. They have just demand. They, they need some functionality. Yeah. So we have to establish a, a bridge, communication bridge between the defense sector and the production and the technology. And if they need some functions at the end, they have to explain it to us. We have to pack this fun function into the product and then make it happen. And that takes a lot of skill and expertise. That's not something everybody... And a lot of adventure, you know, a lot of adventure. Uh, for you then, Pavel, just describe, I guess in the end, your business here and, and, and what it is that TGS are very good at and what that message is that you want to put across about why we're here and why the Czech Republic is, is, an, is an economy that people should be following, be interested in uh, and, and potentially participate with. We became lazy during the years, you know, during the years of, of a constantly growing production. But still, from the previous time and also from the communist time, uh, there is an ability for a quick adaptation and the reconstruction of the economy. And I'm, I'm glad that the time came again yeah, and we have to adapt ourselves on the new condition. And I think we have the, really the advantage that we can do that. Yeah. We will see it in the in next years. Well, I wish you every success. It's been a fascinating insight into the, to the country, into what you do. I haven't been to many engineering companies that provide such an extensive service as you do here. Clearly why that's why there's so many people here. So thank you for the invitation this week. And uh, yeah, yeah your, your feedback is interesting. Yeah, I would hear it. Yes, well, that, 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 that to me, it, it's great to see so many people here engaged. You've had 400 people here, you're offering a, a whole range of machining options and all the options with the machine in order to, to provide a complete process and engineer it yourself, engineer it yourself, which I think is a, a very compelling selling argument for people watching. I don't know if you can catch it, but uh, the 400 people, those are really the right ones, you know? They are not people who just walk by. Yeah. You know? Those are the people who really understand. And if we are discussing, if we are communicating together, how we can do that. Mm -hmm. you know? That's bringing us really on the top. Yeah. And what was that drink you gave me earlier? What, 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 what was <laughs> Plum it? liquor. Typical Plum liquor. Czech. Still, it was fantastic. We'll, we'll, we will do it next time. We'll do it next time. We'll do it later as well. Thank you very much, Pavel. Much Thank appreciated. you. Thank, Thank you, Paul. You.